I've lived through wildfires and pandemics. I lost a friend to the opioid crisis and even more to gun violence. We can't afford to look the other way anymore. First issue I'm going after is police brutality. I'm going on a ride along with the veteran of the LAPD. And I'm bringing my friend Sonny, who's been arrested and wrongfully jailed more times than I can actually count. Sonny, do you think the cops are here to protect and serve? 20% of them got good intentions. Like 80% of them is coming over there staring at niggas and instead of serving and protecting, they looking for trouble. You're from Compton, right? Yeah. I've had the best part of my career working in that city. My direction as a training officer, supervisor, or sergeant, treat the citizens the way you would want yourself to be treated, your mom, your dad, your sister, anybody that you love. This is why we out here protesting right now. So. Absolutely. What you don't have are people like myself building that philosophy in these officers this is what you need to go out in the field and do. So how do you feel about people saying police were made to just sustain white supremacy? I can't honestly deny that. I so say that. So truth to that. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, sworn police officers, blacks only make up 6%. No one can tell me that's not by design. Systemic racism lives and breathes very, very, very strongly within communities with police officers. And they're not gonna have the respect for the cops because of the things that they've seen in the communities by cops that we've created as cops. What was your highest rank as a sheriff? I was a sergeant, I retired as a sergeant. How did you still wanna be in the law enforcement knowing that they discriminating on you? This was not a job, this was a career. There's a difference. And at the time, I had a young kid at home. It was like, I can maneuver around what I consider as racism. Nowadays, police is getting militarized. I just don't understand why we would need military for us to protest our rights. It's extra. When we do that as law enforcement officers, we're, we're depriving people of their rights. Here's where it gets a little confusing with that. When you have protests, a lot of people look at those as opportunities to riot. And that's where the police feel like they have yeah, to. Yeah, but do, they the antagonize the situation the before start. it even riots. Y'all coming out with the gear on. Because it's intimidating. They, that's going to scare us exactly. away from being able to voice our opinion. Are y'all taught to like judge a book by its cover? Absolutely not. It's been numerous times. I'm just in my car, minding my business, and they drive past it. They make eye contact with me. That's where systemic racism come in at. When the whole thing happened with George Floyd, what was going through your head? Bullshit. There's absolutely no justification whatsoever for him to have done that. So how are we supposed to wake up every day and have faith in the police, knowing the stuff that happened to George Floyd or Breonna Taylor, just you, you, no justice at all? You can't wake up and feel good about the police seeing stuff like that. I can't wake up and feel good about the police seeing stuff like that. When you're in it for like 10, 20 years, like how do you change others within the system? Well, for one, if you're in a position of authority, you change that by having a zero tolerance. Right, and you being a sheriff right. and bringing these guys on. So. Absolutely. So how many, how many people did you fire off like misconduct off of abusive authority? I I've at least done, that was under my command, at least five people that I've written up. But here's the thing, a, a deputy can, let's just say, bend your arm back too far right. to handcuff you. He's not gonna get fired for that. He may get some days off, but he's not gonna get fired. By y'all getting accountable for y'all action, y'all okay. need to do time, y'all need to pay fines. Not just five days off of work, sitting back and chilling for so doing many, something wrong. So many police and sheriff feel like they bigger than the law. But police officers will tell you, we are the law. And even I disagree with that. Our hiring should be way different. They should cross-examine everybody, meaning polygraph tests, all that, ask a person, are you racist? The people that's out there doing all that shit got hidden vendettas, you feel me? And, and you know, I agree. Do. That should be a question on a police polygraph. Are you racist? Why can't we defund the police and send in mental health workers instead? The reason why I believe that 
the reallocations of funds to certain departments to deploy mental evaluation teams will be so helpful because even out of Carson, almost 75 to 80 percent of our use of forces were involving mentally ill people. When a person that's trained to to talk and deal with them may be able to go in there and, you know, bring them down. And even if they had to be arrested, at least we don't have to use force to do that. I do think racism is real within the police force, and it's up to us to ultimately put them on blast. Getting arrested is never the end of the problem. You still got to face the courts, and they're stacked against us, too. Next episode, I'm going to investigate a wrongful conviction with Sholo from Cobra Kai. This is where the shooting actually occurred.